morning prayer for Saturday the 27th of August and today we remember Monica, mother of Augustine of Hippo. Monica was born in North Africa of Christian parents in 332 and she married, was married to a pagan named Patricus whom she converted to Christianity. They had three children, of whom the most famous was the eldest, the future Augustine. Indeed, Augustine ascribed his conversion to the example and devotion of his mother. She never let me out of her prayers that you, a God, might say to the widow's son, Young man, I say to you, rise. Which is why the Gospel of the Widow of Nan is traditionally read today as her memorial. Monica's husband died when she was 40. Her desire had been to be buried alongside him, but that was not to be. She died in Italy at Ostia in 387, on her way home to North Africa with her two sons. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As the dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day that you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This week we have been reading through uh, Ephesians as translated by Tom Wright and recorded in the Bible for everyone. Today we're on the last chapter, chapter 6. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. This is right and proper. Honour your father and your mother. This is the first commandment that comes with a promise attached, so that things may go well with you and you, will, and you may live a long life on earth. Fathers, don't make your children angry. Bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your human masters with respect and devotion, with the same single-mindedness that you have towards the Messiah. You must get on with your work, <coughs> not only when someone is watching you, as if you were just trying to please another human being, but as slaves of the Messiah. Do God's will from your heart. Get on with your tasks with a kind and ready spirit as if you were serving the Master himself and not human beings. After all, you know that if anyone, slave or free, does something good, they will receive it back from the Master. Masters do the same to them. Give up using threats. You know, after all, that the Master in heaven is their Master and yours and he is no respecter of persons. What else is there to say? Just this, be strong in the Lord and, the strength, and, in, and in the strength of his power. Put on God's complete armour, then you will be able to stand firm against the devil's trickery. The warfare we're engaged in, you see, isn't against flesh and blood. It is against the leaders, against the authorities, against the powers that rule the, rule the world in this dark age against the wicked spiritual elements in the heavenly places. For this reason you must take up God's complete armour. Then, when wickedness grabs its moment, you will be able to withstand it and to do what needs to be done, and still be on your feet when it's all over. So stand firm. Put on the belt of truth around your waist. Put on justice as your breastplate. For shoes on your feet, ready for battle, take the good news of peace. With it all, take the shield of faith. If you've got that, you'll be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. 
take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is God's word. Pray on every occasion in the Spirit, with every type of prayer and intercession. You'll need to keep awake and alert for this, with all perseverance and intercession, for all God's holy ones, and also for me. Please pray that God will give me his words to speak when I open my mouth, so that I may make known loud and clear the secret truth of the gospel that after all is why I am that after all is why I am a chained up ambassador pray that I may announce it boldly that's what I am duty bound to do it is important that you should know how things are with me and what I'm up to so our dear brother Tychus will tell you about it he is a loyal servant in the Lord. I have sent him to you with this in mind, so that you may know how things are with us, and so that he may encourage your hearts. Peace be to the whole family, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus, the Messiah. Grace be with all who love the Lord King Jesus, with a love that never dies. This is the end of our reading. We come to our time of prayer as we pray for the day, for the weekend, for the things that lie before us, for our family, for our friends. for our work and our rest and our play. We pray for the courage we need to forgive. For the bravery to let go of a grudge to be as much a blessing as we have received. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> we pray for the world and its needs. We pray for our government the national government and the opposition for local government and councils for local community groups for campaigning groups and pressure groups We ask for the strength we need to be able to listen to each other. To be open handed and open hearted in our positions. For the humility we need. To be willing to learn from each other. to admit we might change our minds as we seek together the common good. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. The collect for today, on the day that we remember Monica, the mother of Augustine. Faithful God who strengthened Monica on the 
who strengthened Monica, the mother of Augustine, with wisdom and through her patient endurance encouraged him to seek after you. Give us the will to persist in prayer that those who stray from you may be brought to faith in your Son Jesus Christ our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.